I mean, I think he's going to be an amazing mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. an amazing dad. Like, mm -hmm. no question. Is he right now ready for all that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hey guys, today we are talking The Bachelorette, episode six. Yeah. That's right, season 20. Mm hmm. It's getting real. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of getting real stupid, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> one or the other. She's in love. <laughs> yeah, evidently with everybody. Yes. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, right, exactly. Yep. So we took a poll and asked who should Charity choose or who will Charity choose? Billy, what'd you say? I said Dotton. Also Dotton. Well, Josh, and Josh yeah. won't tell us who we voted Josh for. Josh said Braden. <laughs> Braden. Yeah, Braden. Hoping for Braden back. to come back. That's right. Braden. That's right. But the number one person was Joey, Joey. with 40% of the votes. I was torn between Joey and Dotton, but I went with Dotton. And Dotton, number two, 33%, followed by Aaron at 14 and lastly, Xavier at 13%. Poor Xavier. Yeah. Well, he's right there nick and nick with Aaron, though, huh? Yeah, very close. Yeah. But the the two clear favorites are Joey and Dotton. Which yeah. is what we said last week. So. Exactly. Well, that we'll tracks. see how it plays out. We will. <laughs> Let's get into it. So Charity goes to Aaron's house in Houston, Texas. Yeah, which is what I said last week. And you know, we're like, what? Houston? I'm in Houston being in it. And I was like, yeah, damn it. It's Houston. Yeah, but he's from New Orleans and lives in San Diego. I, I, he's all yeah. over the place. Yeah, he's a he's a traveling man, I guess. Yeah. yeah, and Aaron seems to have a good family. His oh, yeah. brother looks pretty similar to him. Yeah, he does. And his dad does too. I think yeah, he looks a lot like his dad as well. So, so what did you think about this visit? That was good, man. I thought he had a cool family. You know, they they liked her. I think everybody got along, and it was uh, a lot of damn good food. I tell you that, man. Yeah, it's like holy it cow, that, man. like Louis, Louisiana yeah, style man. food or something. They, they, like, they had frog legs, catfish, freaking sounds like you guys gumbo were hungry when you watched. Oh, oh, I was. I was. <laughs> he was making me hungry. I, I, was I, was making I didn't notice hungry. any food. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I didn't notice any food. I mean, they oh, they listed it all out. They had lobster, all kinds of stuff. There's fried lobster in there. Oh yeah, dude. I've never had fried lobster before though. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah. Give me some improvisations too, man. <laughs> and Aaron's mom asked, like, if he were to propose to you today, what do you think you would say? That's a tough mm. question to ask the bachelorette. Yeah. Like, Especially, you shouldn't well, be asking that. You no, know, like, and you know, they got, you know, they, that's this is the first home date, and he's got three others to go to. Well, so, you don't know that. Yeah, you don't know. I think they probably thing. knew that. She probably, I'm sure she probably mentioned. Well, I'm you saying know, it could be in any know, order. That's the way yeah. it was filmed. But that's, that's we do true. know Fair from enough. different shows that they that present true. them in different orders. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, and uh, she either said, way, either but way, either way, he's it was four yeah. guys, right? She knows he's got four guys. And she so. said, I have to say no right now. Yeah. So that was kind of a little bit of a stunner. But her now her response was a good one, though, right? The way she said it. So, and even the mom was understanding. She's like, all right, I get it. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I mean, how do you say yes to that? You just, you and can't. you can't really say, yeah, I would say yes without a doubt because, right. you know, you got to keep some part of the show, Mr. Or maybe she says it and they edit that out or something. She so. says she gives that answer, and then she's like, "Okay, I really want to answer. Yeah, I'm going to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. So yeah. start planning. <laughs> Bring some of that gumbo too to the wedding. <laughs> and then uh, they go to the football field and they dance to Lauren. See, away, that was you know? cool, man. That, that was smooth. Was that was like very romantic, very smooth. Aaron to do that, you know. I was like, oh. at that point, I was like, oh, I mean, he's, he just bumped a bunch of well, notches with her. My only issue with Aaron at this point. Other than issues we've had with him in the past, is he seems stiff. He doesn't seem like he can relax and just be like chill. Yeah. I thought it went fairly well. I thought yeah, he handled I mean, himself he, good. And... I thought it was a great date. Yeah, it, it but, was. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like Aaron. Like, yeah, but yeah, but just, it was a good date. So you just, I don't see them like ever. I don't know. I just don't see him as a chill person. Somebody I would want to hang out with just to chill. Like he's always on in a way. Mm. That's the. The vibe I get from him. And these dates are, are pretty chill in general. They're not doing yeah. anything yeah. super over the top like other episodes. And I mean, the one thing I, I think is missing here is like they're talking about proposing, but they really don't seem to know too much about each other, especially like no. living conditions and how the person is. Like they haven't cooked anything together or, or anything right. like that, gone through any like major issues to see if they're compatible, really. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a thing too, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're supposed to be 
and I didn't realize it was this lame when it comes to that. I thought at least they'd be able to at least spend like a couple of weeks with each person or something to get to know them better, live with them a little bit. But no, it's like, how the hell are you going to propose to somebody when you haven't even lived a single day with them alone, right? Just, well, you know, it, next, it, like I said, learn their freaking bad habits and all that crap. That's just, next that's week stupid. are overnights. They go away and they they spend a night. Yeah, with one them. night's nothing, though. Yeah. It's true, yeah. but yeah. that's as far as you get with the bad yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> You know, that's, that's I stupid. haven't watched many seasons of this but what i've seen a long time ago in the past they haven't changed the formula too much in no. this at all i really do wish like i know you guys hate workshops and like getting to know your feelings and like talking about them and stuff but i would like more of like some of those classes that you know different premarital classes that they have to check for compatibility. Like married at first sight where they're meeting with the pastor and right, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. That's how do cool. you How do you handle controversy, difficulty, arguments, disagreements? Like none of them have gotten in fights yeah, well, or That's true. You, yeah. you don't ever see conflict on this show, really. Yeah. It's normally between, between the, like, the guys. Right. Yeah. Stuff, you know? Man, yeah. I mean, as soon as I figured out after this episode that, like, you don't get any of that, I was like, well, this show's stupid. Like, they don't... <laughs> Gosh. I mean, because they don't get to really learn anything, truly learn anything about each other and about how they're going to be together out in the real world, you know, before they, yeah. before they freaking say, hey, let's marry me. Well, this is more of a fairy tale style of But, you, you know, they could also ha be having these conversations and it's just not, that's not what the show style is to show. Yeah, well, having a conversation, have conversation is different than is experiencing conflict exactly. and making food exactly. and dealing with normal everyday life. Which is exactly. why I kind of like the whole Love is Blind where they actually go spend oh, yeah, no, a no month. Doubt. Yeah, that format, that formula, the way they put it together is way better. Well, and the stakes are raised on that because they're actually married yeah. from the jump. Yeah. So. Well, no, that's married at first time. No, I'm talking right, about yeah. love. Is oh, love is blind, yeah. yeah. But, but you're so, still like, choosing somebody. You know, if you're living with somebody and then they stay out till two in the morning and they don't think that's a big deal without communicating to you, it's like, well, wait a second. That is right. a big deal. Like, oh, yeah. And you, you don't know if any of these could be. You, experience. you don't know if they could be kind of players or what. Yeah, yeah. So they don't know anything not. about each other in this show. Nothing real. I mean, only what they're seeing in this little freaking fairy fairy tale. La -la -la. And maybe Charity's good, you know, but so. we Braden might be like a player or something like that. Once they see that, we don't even know if we're getting real Joey here. So. That's right. That's right, Uncle but Joe. Let's get the Joey in PA. So. Mm -hmm. In PA, so he was in Pennsylvania, but he's yeah. so I guess he lives in Hawaii now, and his family's in. Yeah, Pennsylvania. I don't know what. I was hoping there. to get to Hawaii. I was like, "What's this? That's <laughs> Hawaii. not Hawaii." We, we get, we get <laughs> they go to Fiji. We get, close, yeah, we get close in the next episode, right? We get Fiji. So, <laughs> but yeah, they go to PA, and she, and he's teaching her how to play tennis and yeah. and all that stuff, that was which cool. is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. And then uh, and then old Uncle Joe had to come in and ruin it for him. Man. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised she's never played tennis before. So, I don't know what she's doing. Well, I, I, she seems like, I mean, who has a, like played some form of a ten, tennis growing up? I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, well, like, at least maybe I hit a ball a couple times, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I could say I played tennis. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Man. I don't know. I have held that. a racket and hit a tennis ball across a tennis court. And maybe there she you has go. You too. play, you play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I probably would need just as much instruction as Joey gave her. Right. But I'm <laughs> noticing a different vibe when she's talking about Joey because she kind of insinuates that she's going to like say, I'm in love with yeah. her. And I'm like, yeah. Well, you just said you would say no to Aaron, but now you're like, I can't wait to tell him I love but him. That, I'm like, hmm. But she didn't say that about Aaron, though, that she's that she feels like telling him she's low. I him, know. So. so that's, I'm noticing, yeah. like, she, and she's she very. She feels much stronger about She's Joey. very yeah. giddy off the bat. Oh, Joey, here. absolutely. Yeah. So, and she says that. He makes me giddy. She yeah. Says, and I'm like, hmm, she just yeah. seems much, much more excited to be with Joey. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Hands down, dude. I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's no competition there. I mean, the only thing that went wrong with this date was the uncle. The uncle comes Pointing in. that one seed of yeah, doubt. That's all it took. And, and the uncle's the mentor to Joey and knows him very well and all that kind of stuff. It, it, well, and, that, uh, and that really screwed Joey, too, right? Because he, he even portrayed it to her like, oh, yeah. you know, this is my guy. He you know, he basically raised me. He's my mentor, all this. I, I think highly of him. And then <laughs> so when the uncle tells her that shit, she's like, wow, Joey really thinks highly about this guy. So this guy must be telling the truth, and, right? You so, know, I'm kind of like, wondering, hey. like, they even, like, bring the uncle out to, like, specifically sit with her. And, like, why the uncle, not the dad? Yeah. Huh? He had this relationship with the, with the uncle. uncle but he didn't I have his dad, I guess. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But the uncle threw like, him under the bus, I mean, man. She talked with his dad, too, I think. Yeah, but uh, I think Not, that was with everyone for the yeah, most part. Like, it wasn't like but, this. Let's set time aside yeah. for this. It, may, could the show be trying to add some drama to yeah, the show? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was it portrayed is. a little yeah. bit more dramatically. But, like, and his mom, 
Oh, I'm totally his mom. Like that's me. She was Mom's like worried balling about, and like yeah. I just want to see you. Yeah. She's, she's worried about heartbroken. him being heartbroken. Yeah. 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 yeah that's evidently, me as mom. every time he gets you know broken up with, he takes it pretty hard. Is what it sounded like, right? Yeah. So, yeah, and then Uncle uh, you know, Uncle Joe though, man, just completely threw him under the bus with her. But it, I mean, and the thing is though, I mean, he said the exact same. He, stuff he said to it Joey. to him. He yeah. Said yeah. Joey first, right? And then he said it to Charity. Even I'm sure, I'm well, sure so, Joey would probably have appreciated him not saying that to Charity. <laughs> and, right. <laughs> so that's the other thing I was kind of hoping, like when they were sitting on the bench as she was leaving for the night, he could tell she was upset about something. Mm-hmm. She was saying, "I just don't want to leave you," but she, you know, he could tell she didn't really want to right, look he, at he knew him. Something and, up. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, I coughed on you. <laughs> I chose him. Um, but he should have, like, said, well, you know, what's wrong? I'm sensing something. Right. Like, because yeah. she wanted to tell him that she was falling in the love. The show is fake. They're adding drama there when there go. doesn't need to be. She, she really wanted to tell him, but then with that seed of doubt, she was like, I got to keep it. I can't. I can't. Mm. Like, I think had that seed of doubt not put in there, she would have told him that she was falling in love with him. Yeah, or the show definitely wants you to believe that anyway. And right, Joey's so. uneasy the way she left, and mm. I don't know, he's <laughs> never felt like that in the past. So. Yeah, he was worried. You know, he's like, yeah. oh, he's went in a little, uh, little one-on-one with the camera. He's like, yeah, I'm kind of worried. And, and I will say that, that it didn't seem like it went overly great. Right. So well, When she said that, she said it was... <laughs> It was good. <laughs> so, um, well, the reason she said it wasn't great is because of the whole conversation exactly. she had with Uncle Joe, which right? is so. unfortunate, right? Because she says I- I've never been like brought home to like I guess a white family before, so it yeah. would have been nice if she really felt comfortable and you know. So was that over top makes of me it, wonder because so. in, remember in previous episodes she said that she was in a relationship who didn't yeah. mm-hmm. take that seriously the the different race. So if she just said she's never been brought home, so maybe he, that was the issue with that relationship. He was never willing to take. Her home to his yeah. family. Yeah, maybe. I don't so. know. But it's but a shame I mean, it didn't just go amazing. I mean, his his parents seem awfully nice. So the, yeah. the uncle just kind of like. I mean, his sisters are great. You yeah. know I mean? She had the one on one with his, one of his, was it his oldest sister, I guess? She had the one on one kind of conversation with her. And that Do you think go well. Joey's being authentic? I think he is. Well, it's hard to say because I I don't think anyone's being truly authentic because well, like yeah, fair enough. you know, you don't see how they deal with conflict and like yeah, yeah. when every when you're going on these amazing dates, you're not gonna see that side of someone to right. begin yeah. with. So I don't know if he's particularly being fake, but so, you're you're certainly not seeing another also, side of something. That could just there. also be like I don't think he's purposely being fake, mm-hmm. but he said he's a people pleaser. So you yeah. know, people who are people pleasers tend to adapt so, to be what they want in a from their partner. The, the funny thing is, the only guy in the show who wasn't being fake that everybody hates is freaking Braden, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Braden was like, but we didn't like real I have a feeling we did see his true colors. Right. Oh, yeah. And oh, we yeah. didn't like it. Right. So, but he, you know, he's like, hey, how the hell, you know, you expect to just fall in love in this, you know, fairy tale land when you're dating a whole bunch of dudes? Then and, don't go on know, the show. So, yeah. I could for I could see you not getting the real Joey, but like I think it's kind of like out of the line for his uncle to say that. Yeah, just based no, on like her. that right. initial yeah. interaction on the yeah. tennis court, like that gave you the impression I'm yeah. being fake. Yeah, exactly. I mean, weird. They could just have a, a level of fakeness because the cameras are around. It's kind of awkward oh, to yeah, like, yeah. live your no life doubt. naturally around a camera. Yeah, you know no what doubt. I mean? So there's all, always going to be some level of awkwardness around that. I think. Yeah, very true. So she goes next to see Xavier in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Not and this matter. brother brings Washington her City. to the knitting class. That's I great. mean, he's I like, I it. want an exciting yeah. day. I'm taking knitting, knitting baby. <laughs> I got to tell you, like, I wish we had more from him. The, the, this guy has layers. He's such a chill, laid back dude, man. He has layers, and I wish we had more. And that's obviously why she's kept him. Like, they haven't shown us that because maybe his layers are sometimes boring for maybe. TV. They don't play excitement or drama, but. He's, he's, now, he's, but there's I will a say, lot to him. I, I will say that he was talking about how it takes patience for knitting and all that. Like, after watching them, him trying to teach her, I was like, okay, yeah, it does it. Like, you definitely need a lot of patience to, to learn how to do that. Takes probably, through the yarn you're store. Pre- and you're he, pre- does, pre- he, he does come across as someone with a lot of patience. Oh, yeah. No so. doubt about it. That's a nice yeah. quality to have. And, it, and Xavier's who I voted for in this to win it. Oh. And he was the least oh, pick. So there go. we go. Did you do that because you just go for the underdog because you want to go? No, I like Xavier. Xavier is cool. I yeah, but do you think Charity likes Xavier? Right, exactly. That's, that's, Were you voting because you want, that's who you want? Because you want Xavier? Yeah, or I want Xavier. You- <laughs> <laughs> are you voting who you want to be with, or who you want her to pick, or were you? That's how you voted because you think she's. That's going who to pick I him. want her to choose. Okay. 
Well, that's not how you're supposed that's, to vote. I don't think that's how you that's ask. Not how it works, not. But, <laughs> but I'm willing it to happen. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, his vote, you know, yeah. that may have done it. Yeah, and like she's hanging out with the yarn club there, yeah, right. and they're like, don't be such afraid. It's just yarn. <laughs> it's a piece of string, man. Yeah, right. It'll be all right. <laughs> so, I mean. It was different. The, the thing that. about Xavier is he seems really reserved, like he's holding oh, something he is, back. About it. Yeah. He, like he, that, right? he, he he's not like he just doesn't put his emotions out there i think very yeah. easily so mm-hmm. which is fine you know i i've been criticized of doing that as well yeah, so, so yeah so hopefully she'll bring more out with him and he seems like he's starting to fall for her as, but see now this uh, is some, yeah, that's hold on a no, no. wait before we get into that talking about the emotions this is this is kind of a real world thing to to talk about because it may be very important for her in a relationship to have that um, person who's able to express that. It is and important. In it. that early part of the relationship when he's trying to explain himself that, you know, it's just not something I'm used to and her trying to accept that, that could be a problem later down the road. Well, I because think she might want to get more from him than he's capable of giving. It I think he's him. very careful. I don't think he wants to be rejected. I think when he proposes, he wants to mean it and he wants yes. it to last. Now, the, I mean, doesn't go, everybody go, want it to last? Yeah, but, yeah go, but some people are more willing to put that out there than other people. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you know, and, and the date went well with, their, with his family, right? They go with his family. Everything seemed to go yeah, well. Everything, he and he's got a great time. family too. All these yeah. guys got good yeah, families, no doubt. But then yeah. afterward, all of a sudden, now he's like, "Oh man, my family loved her. Charity, now I think I'm falling in love with you." And it's like, "What? <laughs> Get the hell out of here!" Well, man. I mean, Jesus like, is dude. probably like twice the amount of time he's got to spend with her. To be honest, that's, that's probably that's, that's, show, yeah, you know? that's true too. But still, that's true. And around, <laughs> I mean, well, and his sister loves her. Yeah, yeah, the sister really loves her. So that sealed right. the deal that's for right. him, yeah. I think, because she normally hates people. He says apparently. he wants to be with her. Are you doubting it? I'm not doubting that, but the fact that all of a sudden, oh, we spent a day with my family and they loved her. Now, for charity, now I'm falling in love with you. It's like, well, come on, dude. This get has out of here. to happen in like a four to six week period or something like that. Does, like, at some point in time, the switch has to flip to say, all right, I love her. Why not now? Nah, it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> not buying it. Not buying it, Xavier. Mm-hmm. I, I, I buy it. He's got good intentions and I think he wants to fall in love with her, but I don't think he is yet. So. Are you just crapping on Xavier because he picked him? Yeah, you're trying to ruin the pick, man. I saw the way he, yeah. he like kissed her head and stuff, had his arm around her. Come yeah. on, yeah, yeah, yep. nice. that's love. I'm telling you, man, y- you wouldn't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Neither would you. <laughs> so, any other thoughts on Xavier, the family, and all that? The mom, no, like I said, he had a great Pops. family, dude. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. He does ask now. the dad, like, "Hey, how do I know? Yeah, tell yeah. me the secret." <laughs> Right. You know, and as a mom, I've had a child ask me that. And it's 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 interesting when they do ask you, you say, that. Go ask your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I you know, my explanation of it is is you gotta know the hard stuff, you know, because the butterflies of like, oh, I want to spend every moment with you and I just wanna like touch you and hug you and kiss you and all this other stuff, that will fade. It will fade so hard and like yeah. hit you like a ton of bricks. Like, I wanna know how do you argue? What are your po- Policies or like policies, opinions on policies like like politics and like money and family and religion and all those things that normally cause problems in relationships. And I don't know if yeah. any of them have really talked much about that. Hmm. That's, we, we, that's no, like the real we, stuff. We haven't, we haven't well, seen any of that. Every really. family yeah. says we got tradition. It's called Christmas. Christmas that's right. and I'm like, well, I think that's most people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's but, just you, but no, you're right. We haven't heard them discuss any of that crap, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's so. the stuff when too busy making out. That's right. Well, just gotta know if that works. <laughs> well, I think she's established that at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably time maybe, to get into some of the deeper maybe conversations. Move on. Let's right. talk about finances. Right. Let's talk right. about kids. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> then she's off to Cali to meet. Yeah, <laughs> I want to say goat and dot. Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah. and that's one of the the favorites. So, yeah, what do you yeah. think of this? I went perfect. And, and oh, the parents she, she aren't there yeah, because she, she they're off it. in Nigeria. Yeah, but wait, it. they're there. Oh yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was very cool. Yeah. I don't think this date could have gone any better. No, Probably right. the best date of all four of them, like meeting the parents and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, definitely like was. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, and I like what he did at the end with the the drive-in theater. Yeah, that was yeah, with cool. the pictures and that showing really the video cool. and stuff, and 
And she had mentioned she's like, like what song. is this movie? This is a rip off. <laughs> 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 she had mentioned the signs. Yeah, this, like <laughs> she had gotten these like subtle signs every time she was with him and like remembering that her parents used to go to the drive in theater and like why oh this is weird to go to a drive in theater because it's not something people do nowadays. So mm-hmm. she's yeah. taking that as a sign. The parents are ready to adopt her. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Take her to Nigeria for marriage. Now, here's what I don't. <laughs> here's what I don't like is you that they never ask right. what the woman wants on some. Well, the shows I've seen involving this, they never ask the woman what she wants to do. They just like assume, like, "Hey, we can get married in Nigeria," you know. And it's like, well, wait, said, how do you have, know she wants that? She said, right. "Have a Nigerian wedding." You never know. Maybe she she doesn't have to have her. She can have a, a Nigerian wedding and an American wedding. Yeah, she could. But they should yeah. be asking her what she wants. That's right. She's, she just said she was ready to take her there. She it was up to her to decide if she wanted to. <laughs> I have no intention on getting married there. You know? so, yeah. I think she'd be fine with it. Seems she like might be. She might be, but I think they should probably ask before they yeah. throw something out it's there. It's like, like well, that, you know? who's paying for our, all the guests? To and and <laughs> what I know from women, it's a big deal for them to have their little dream wedding. Yeah, so. I know. I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Oh, boy. And she's getting the real Dotton. Yeah. They say that a couple of times, and I'm like, yeah. dang, that's a slight against Joey, obviously. Obviously, mm-hmm. yeah. So right. what's up with that? Why why, why say that? Well, she had mentioned, she's like, well, I got this word from Joey's family that maybe I'm not getting the real. So it sounds like she definitely went on Joey's date before Dotton's date. Yeah. And then she's like, I got to make sure I'm getting the real Dotton, because I think, just like we called it last week, her top two are Joey and Dotton. Well, they so, obviously are. So she had... Xavier? Yeah. Her top two, Xavier's three. <laughs> her, and she had gotten these, you know, seeds of doubt for Joey. So she wanted to try to make sure she didn't have seeds of doubt with Don, which is why I think he moved up to the number one spot. That's, That's what, what you I think. think. That's what I think. <laughs> That's right. I, 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 even, I think last, even, la, even last week, I thought Don was number one. So, Well, she's always been pretty strong with Aaron, and we saw how that goes. So. Yeah. yeah There's, but, there but, was always something about that, though. Yeah, no doubt. And he, when she even mentioned, like, yeah, we had sparks on our first date and everything was fine, but since then, it really hadn't been too much. Right. She was right, but that's her fault because she didn't really take him on any more dates, right? So She had to. She had other guys she was dating, though. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> she, you know, we obviously have talked about it. Like, she doesn't choose Aaron, and Aaron is shocked by this. Oh, yeah. Well, and she says that. Like, going up to it, she's like, Nothing went wrong. Really I don't like that. I don't like her. So something went wrong. There's a yeah. reason why I didn't choose him. Just tell yeah, exactly. him. Like, say she we didn't know. click. I didn't have the feelings for you. Yeah. And those are all legit responses. And that's what it seems like I to me. I think she legitimately yeah. had feelings for all of them. And, and just when she envisioned herself being then with say, them, that was the I, one she could. She, there's a reason. Yeah, there's hey, a reason. You're just awesome. I don't know. I just, exactly. I flipped the coin. Yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she should have said. That'd be great. And, 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 unfor- and unfortunately, this one wasn't two sided, and you lost. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Tails. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh, but, uh, oh wow! Yeah, there's a yeah. reason why uh, she didn't choose him, and and I think it's just come out and say it. Come yeah, on, not great. It's instinct. You're right. Absolutely. It's like. I don't know. I was then kinda, say that. No, she That's better told than him I exactly what out. she told the camera. Hey, I just didn't. I don't feel it anymore. You know, our first date was great, but since then, I really haven't felt it. She should have told him that, like Josh said. Well, she so, want, she, she did, told us that. Okay. She <laughs> left the re- reservation there. She's like, I, I may not be making the right decision. So I was like, maybe she'll bring him back. No, no, no. <laughs> he's gone. Someone's coming back. Yeah, apparently, well, Braden, man. Braden. Braden's Braden's better not be Braden. Braden. Braden's just showed Braden. up again. Braden. Braden. Better not be Braden. He's gonna be walking through the woods again. Yeah, all right, Braden. In the previews, man. Braden's rolling back out of the scene. Earrings, the flip flops, <laughs> and, and the protector ain't here anymore. That's right. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Right. He's gonna come parasailing in, man. In the Fiji. Yeah, maybe, maybe I, w- <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Because Braden just has a tendency to show up. So yeah, that's true. And and he's and like, you producers- didn't take me out. I took myself out. That's the so, loophole. Yeah, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Any final thoughts on this episode? Yeah, well, I mean, I was surprised that she chose Aaron or Xavier over Aaron. I was surprised she chose Xavier pretty early too. Yeah. Well, I knew she was. I, but, knew- I mean, no, no, she doesn't have to choose him by that. The ranking that she liked. you knew damn well right. based on the way it played out <laughs> that if she was going to choose Zoe, it was going to be third because they were going to make him sweat, right? So, yeah, I was expecting already right off the bat that if Joey's going to get picked, he's going to pick third. 
and which is what happened. Mm-hmm. But with Xavier, I was very surprised that she chose some over You know, I was like, damn, that's crazy. I mean, I was glad, you know, don't get me yeah. wrong, but yeah, I was, I wonder I was if very old surprised. Jesse Palmer comes in and says, tell me the deal. Who you choosing to go home? I'll, I'll rearrange them. <laughs> well, you know, we're not coming there and do that. This is yeah, the final yeah, round. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, what's up with that? You know, Jesse's like standing in the background like this. And he's like, final rose. <laughs> Everybody. Final rose. How much do they pay this guy to come in here and say this? Yeah. And like, okay, carry on, Cherry. <laughs> yeah. like, we can see like, that. Thank yeah, you, Professor. Yeah, yeah there, we, there's a, one damn rose set on the table. Well, know? I get it when there's like, nah, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's three make, roses to begin yeah, with. Like, why the hell is yeah. this guy coming in here? Yeah, yeah it's, it's for dramatic. Effect. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> but I did find it funny that like they had these four guys come in and what I thought was odd was Joey walked in and he was in the third spot. Like Xavier had stood over in the corner and then you had Aaron and Dotton. So there was just like, why didn't they go in order to where they stood? So I was wondering if that had something to do with her elimination yeah, or if maybe. they had cues of where they stood. Who knows? Who knows what goes on? It turned out scenes. like Joey. I saw, I thought that was the hint that Joey might go, but he didn't. So No, I just, the way she was talking about Joey, it would have been odd if, she didn't choose him. Yeah. And, and based on what the uncle says, like, who is he? Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. she's going to end this. Clearly, it's been one of the strongest relationships she's had. She's going to end it based on and that. And she did say, like, you know, yeah, he told me that, but I do feel like I'm getting the, the genuine Joey. Yeah. So. But she said, and you she would know more than me. Yeah. And she hasn't had a chance to really talk to him about that yet. So right. you can't just let him go without. <laughs> well, that, that, Joey! Yeah. And that, well, that's the thing, too. Why? Why haven't Why you talked she... to him about that, right? Well, I was you hoping know, like, that's what, what I'm saying hell? when they were sitting outside the house on the bench. I was like, yeah. talk about it. Like, I was hoping and he would And the uncle ask, says this up. based on the tennis court scene. Like, yeah. what the heck did you pick up on? Right, exactly. I, I mean, maybe there's more to it. Maybe they spent more time together than what's shown, but I don't know. That would, I'd be pretty mad at him if I'm Joey. Oh, dude, yeah, no doubt. I'm like, sure what are you doing? words. Yeah. You were my role model. Not anymore. <laughs> I hate you. Next time my dad's doing it. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Never want to see you again. He's not getting the rose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, he he was dead set on like bringing it up. Brought it up to him. Brought it up to her. Yeah. So yeah, well, yeah. he wanted to get that out for whatever reason. That's right. That was on his mind. Yeah. And maybe, and what, and what, he, maybe and what, he meant is innocent, and the show yeah, well, grabbed a hold of it and made it a big deal. I mean, he did say he was a skeptic, too, right? Like, yeah, my, he's like, I'm already pretty skeptical about this whole process to begin with. I mean, he basically said that, right? So, yeah, I don't know, man. What else you got? That's all I got. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's it. it. Yeah, no, That's that, it until yeah. next week. And, yeah, and now, Fiji, damn, these people are just cruising yeah. the world, man. They're going everywhere. Like, what the hell is going yeah. on this show? Yeah. It's crazy, man. Makes me just want to go on the show just to go to locations, you know? Uh, maybe like, maybe yeah. Joey's in it for that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can travel for free, man. Check, eat good food. Check out cool places. Maybe Joey told him. He's like, I'm just going on the show for the travel <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. So really said, cool dates. Yeah. yeah so, so, he, so, he, so he actually told Uncle Joe to screw it up for him there. <laughs> he said, look, Uncle Joe, I don't want to actually. I don't want her to, like, 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 to pick me overall. <laughs> All right, so way too far did this <laughs> episode change your mind who she should pick? No. Nah. No. No, nah, Dotton's still number one in my book. Dotton. Joey's number two. Now, I'm very surprised Xavier's still in it. So. I'm surprised Xavier's still in it, but I can see... Like I said, I, she must be seeing more of him, and we're getting little bits of him. I, I would have liked to have seen more throughout the season from Xavier, because I think there's more to him than what we get. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I do think she's fancying um, Dotton, but like her connection with Joey is pretty strong. Oh, that's so. super strong. And, uh, and they how- seem like a, a legit couple when they're just hanging out yeah. and having fun. So I don't know how she gets... doesn't seem forced gets over like and this is i guess with any of these bachelors and bachelorettes like when she actually decides who it is i mean now she's engaged to one of them and like five minutes ago she's talking about falling in love with some other guy you know what i mean like to have those such strong feelings like because she's so strong about those two like how do you get over that well and then one of the things too if you are the guy that's picked the finally picked right and it's like okay she picked me wouldn't you be thinking, wait, how is she going to get over this other guy, yeah, too? So you know, it's like, like, even as a dude, that's got to be hard, man. It's like, that's crazy. That's, what you do is you stalk her. You make sure they're having any communications <laughs> on the old social medias. <laughs> give me your give me your well, You know there was a season where the guy picked a girl and the runner, he went a week later or I don't know how much long like, later, he dumped the original girl and went to his runner-up. And they're actually, they got married and they're together still. Wow. 
That's messed up. Yeah. That's what happens when you actually make it to the real world and figure out what's like the other person. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up like realizing I chose the wrong person. And like, oh, the other damn, this woman, and, and this woman snores. Like, took him back. <laughs> yeah. And Maybe someone does snore. You never right. know. Yeah. Is snoring such a big deal, guys? Can be. Can be. <laughs> I guess it depends on how bad it is, right? Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, how big the house is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. That is another episode down. We're down to the final three, man. Final three dudes here. So what, what the hell happened? They just go to, so they, what, they just go to Fiji and then that's it? Is that what happens here? What? You guys know? She sleeps with them and then. <laughs> Each one of them. <laughs> it's like the, that, it's like the final. <laughs> you got to do the ultimate test. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't, but the, if, she, if she feels about sex the way she feels about kissing. Right, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. Got to test them all out, right? <laughs> but she might with one. I mean, it's happened on seasons before. Xavier wouldn't let that happen, so. Yeah, you know? yeah sure he wouldn't. <laughs> anyway. Braden, there. Braden's showing up. So yeah, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw a monkey wrench into everything. Right, right. Brady's gonna get down. <laughs> maybe it's her parents that are coming. <laughs> We're a brother maybe. again. She keeps saying he. He showed up. Maybe her brother. Ah, he'll be her brother. <laughs> nah. yeah, Dude, I like. It. I totally didn't think about that. But yeah, you're right. You didn't it, think about. I did it? not think about you it. You didn't think about it. No, I didn't. Did you think about it when I, she said it? Yeah. Maybe well, her brother said it the whole time. Undercover makes... brother in every scene. <laughs> 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 I mean, and did I? Thought about he, it, he was he the boat driver in the freaking gig ride. <laughs> the way she said it, I I didn't think it was him, but I was like, is it him? like I was like, is it her brother? And they're just trying to it dramatize probably it. Is. Probably it's, is. It's pro- it. It would be unprecedented for Brayden to come back. Yeah, oh yeah. But that would be I would like cool. it. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty dang cool, man. Right. Oh, wow. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, another episode down, and uh, it's almost over, man. We're about towards the end of this ride here. Looking forward to see how it ends. But hey, please tell us what you thought about it. Uh, let us know who your favorite is. Uh, maybe Josh will throw up another uh, little uh, thing here for us to pick who we want to win. And maybe you actually <laughs> pick who you think is going to win, not who you want to win like Josh did. <laughs> Read the question carefully. <laughs> That's right. As always, hit that like and subscribe, and we will check you guys in our next review. See ya. Bye.